Hello everyone. I'm about to get these guys out for a little bit of a fly and then we'll have a look at the rest of the pigeons. You might be able to see on this one, I've got some GPS trackers on a few of the older birds. So we'll be able to see how far away they fly from my place. And also, Sydney's recently reopened, so I'm hoping that maybe tomorrow I'll be able to get in and put the lining up on these walls and some perches. And then I think these guys will really enjoy it. Anyway, let's look at the rest of the pigeons. So over here, most of these pairs are actually down on eggs, but these guys are the ones that you're probably interested in. You okay? We're just gonna have a look. So as you can quite clearly see, neither of these babies are brown, which means the old brown cock unfortunately was not their father. It does mean though that the Herman's cock is their father, and these guys will go into race next year, so it'll be interesting how that cross goes. The Herman's speed pigeons into my very old line of brown pigeons. Whilst they're up here, there's a nice surprise in this nest. These guys have eggs. You might have noticed that this pair, their neighbours, they're onto their second nest and their babies are weaned. And in all that time, these guys hadn't laid. But finally, she's laid two eggs. And I'm really looking forward to getting some babies out of this guy. I would actually love to get a baby the same colour as him. It's, it's possible, it's not entirely likely, out of this pair. But I'll be very happy if we do get one. Because he's, <laughs> he's a very interesting looking pigeon, this guy. And I'd love to have another baby the same as him. Now, a lot of these young birds I've got out on the landing board. They'll be coming across into the flying side in a couple of days, but I really like to get them out onto the landing board and used to being outside of the cage before they can fly too well. I find that if they've had a bit of time outside, it's no longer a novelty for them. And by the time they're able to fly, they're, they're just perfectly used to it and they don't tend to fly away. Whereas if they're outside for the first time after they can fly, they do tend to get a little bit excited and that's when you run the risk of having flyaways. Some of these ones are able to fly, but I'm not gonna push them. Racing isn't for another six months. And at the moment, I just want them to get used to sitting out here, feel comfortable around the loft. And I don't want them to fly away and get lost. And of course, this ratty old landing board is just a temporary one. Now that the shops are open, you're gonna be able to get a nice permanent one, add a marine ply and paint it a nice color. Since I moved here, I have been a bit worried about these wires. But so far, the birds have been able to avoid them fairly successfully. They are getting up nice and high, if you can see them there. So hopefully in the future, these wires won't cause us too much trouble. Now, here's a tip that works really well if your pigeons are willing to eat them. Peanuts. No, this guy likes them. Sometimes it can take a while to get your birds used to eating peanuts, but usually once one of them starts, the rest of them are pretty quick to learn. Now, peanuts are 25% protein and they're 50% fat. So really, they're pretty much just rocket fuel for building baby pigeons. Helps them grow up nice and fat and strong. And mature fairly quickly which is exactly what you want when you're trying to breed good, strong racing pigeons. Anyway, you guys have to get out of there so I can put the lid back on. All right, now that these guys are back in, let's go and check their GPS tracker and see how far away they went. All right, just quickly for transparency, this is a Skyleader GPS tracking kit, and Skyleader did send me this kit to look at, but they have not paid for this video. So, of course, being a GPS tracker, it does plot where the birds are on a map, and I'm not gonna show you that map because you guys don't need to know where I live. And I'll just pause here for a second because I'm editing the video, and I realized I didn't tell you guys how far away the birds went. They didn't actually go too far, they only got about 400 meters away from the house. But there were only two of them flying, and I'm sure when there's a few more birds, 
up flying with them. They'll probably go a fair way away. All right, let's carry on. But we can have a look at some of the other data, which is still quite interesting. So starting here, you can see that the birds flew for about 14 and a half kilometers. You can disregard all the results down below where he's highlighted here. Uh, that's because the birds are inside the loft at this point and the GPS was going a bit crazy. But yeah, if you've ever wondered how far your birds fly whilst they love flying, these guys are out for about 15 minutes and they did about 15 kilometers. And that makes sense. That's about an average speed for a pigeon, about 60 kilometers an hour. And if you extrapolate that out, that means that when your birds are flying for an hour around the loft, they're probably doing about 60 kilometers, which is about the same as a decent toss. On this one, you can see that they also got some decent height. They did actually get up to about 50 meters of altitude at one point. And you can see that the speed is all up and down. It's because it's a fairly windy day today and they were enjoying flying into the wind and then turning out, having a bit of fun. And that explains why they weren't really flying at a consistent speed. They were sort of ducking and diving and having a bit of fun in the wind. Anyway, these GPS trackers are quite useful. They're probably more useful for when you're tossing or flying the birds away from the loft to see where they go, which route they follow. But they still give you some really interesting data whilst they're flying around the loft. And I'm definitely going to keep using these as we go training the pigeons. If you'd like to get yourself a set, I've left a link down in the description. And again, thanks to Skyleader for sending me this to have a look at.